Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is Indian monsoon. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. The Indian monsoon, traditionally seen as a stable climatic feature, is now undergoing significant changes driven by climate change with noticeable regional variations and increasing extremes. The Indian monsoon is not just a seasonal event, but a crucial lifeline for the country's economy, environment, and people. The monsoon season plays a vital role in agriculture, water supply, and power generation, directly influencing food prices, GDP, and livelihoods. Now let's discuss about monsoon. The term monsoon is derived from the Arabic word mausim, meaning season. The monsoon system is defined by seasonal wind reversals driven by differential heating between land and sea, leading to precipitation. The monsoon occurs due to temperature differences between the land and the sea. During the summer, land heats up faster than the surrounding ocean, creating low pressure over the land. This draws moisture-laden air from the ocean, causing rainfall as it encounters mountain ranges. Now let's talk about types of monsoons in India. India experiences two main monsoon systems. Southwest monsoon, June to September. The primary rainy season for India, contributing around 75% of the country's total annual rainfall. The monsoon starts in Kerala by early June and spreads to cover the entire country by mid-July. It is crucial for agriculture, particularly for crops like rice, cotton and sugarcane. The winds split into two branches, one from the Arabian Sea that brings rain to the western coast and another from the Bay of Bengal affecting eastern and northeastern regions. Northeast monsoon, October to December. This is a shorter, retreating monsoon that primarily impacts southern India. It occurs when the wind direction reverses, blowing from land to sea. It provides crucial rainfall to regions like Tamil Nadu, which otherwise receives less rain during the southwest monsoon. Now lastly, moving on to factors affecting Indian monsoon Intertropical Convergence Zone The ITCZ, a belt near the equator, where winds from both hemispheres meet, plays a pivotal role in shaping the monsoon. As it shifts north during the summer, it draws moist winds from the ocean, which become the southwest monsoon winds. The ITCZ position dictates the onset and strength of the monsoon rains. El Nino and La Nina affects El Nino, a phenomenon marked by warmer ocean temperatures in the Pacific often weakens the monsoon, causing droughts. In contrast, La Nina, with cooler ocean temperatures, strengthens the monsoon, bringing above-average rainfall. These global climatic events have significant impacts on India's monsoon patterns, making forecasting challenging. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about Indian monsoon. 1. El Nino strengthens the monsoon, bringing more rainfall to India. 2. The Indian monsoon is primarily driven by the difference in temperature between land and sea. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. D. Neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.